My name is Nadia Drea and I live in Walfus Bay, Namibia. I'm what you would call a water sport enthusiast and have always felt a deep connection to the ocean. My father is a former park ranger and as far as I can remember, I always helped him out on his missions to help stranded dolphins and whales and other injured animals on the beaches. Growing up, I always felt it was my duty to preserve the ocean, and I still do to this day. Eight years ago, my wife Katya and I created our own sea kayak tour company at Pelican Point. These expeditions gave me the opportunity to share my knowledge about the local wildlife and marine conservation with the larger public. Around the same time period, while on tour, a friend and I spotted a young seal entangled in a big piece of fishing net. We succeeded in bringing her to the closest beach and managed to cut her free. The feeling was overwhelming. Without our intervention, this poor little girl would surely have died a slow and painful death. Over the years, I disentangled many more seals whenever I would spot one that was small enough for me to catch by hand. Around five years ago, our four-year-old daughter Nina was diagnosed with a rare pediatric cancer. She underwent 15 months of intense chemo and radiotherapy, and she came out of it a radiant and strong inspiration to our family. After such an ordeal, Katja and I had to take some time to reevaluate a certain number of life decisions. One thing was clear. Life is short, and our minds should be focused on enriching the lives of others, whether they be human or animal. I decided to start taking my seal rescue duties more seriously going to the beach to find animals more regularly, to disentangle, and to prove my strategies and equipment. Last year alone, my colleagues and I managed to catch and release over 300 entangled animals. These rescues started to attract a lot of social media attention and support. A friend of mine sent me a very specialized net from America that now enabled us to catch bigger, stronger animals. Last year in July, I met Alba, Antoine, and Roman through our local CrossFit community. They were crewing on the Sea Shepherd ship, the Ocean Warrior, and had a bit of free time on their hands. I invited them for a sea patrol and an instant bond was formed. Being wildlife protection activists, the commitment towards animal welfare of this little crew was unquestionable, and they all proved very capable and useful when it came to catching and handling very large seals. We sat down and started making some future plans and decided that we would run our own campaign together, trying to rescue as many seals as possible in a single month. We called this project 100 Seals for Time. Katya and I are now in the process of registering our own NGO called Ocean Conservation Namibia. There is a huge need for marine environmental awareness and wildlife protection around here. I feel I've been steered into this path, and with the help of my three musketeers and your support, 100 Seals for Time will be a great first operation for us, and hopefully the gateway for many more exciting future projects.